fucking is, co- go- is cocaine a nice even if you have a hangover would you say it well it's more of a, if i'm really drunk thing mm-hmm. you know cocaine's weird now because the day of doing it with strangers in a bathroom is over because yeah, you might have fentanyl you just can't trust the drugs anymore like, we're having to run them. around with drug testing kits like fucking crazy. a police officer you know what I'm saying? We're like testing fucking with testing strips. Yeah, because okay? you might die. Yeah, it's fucking fucked up, dude. God, wasn't it so cool when you could just bump into a stone cold stranger at a bar and he's like, you want to hit a bump? You're like, fuck yeah. He was like the mountain fairy. He would just be in there pulling little mountains of coke on the end of a key or a fucking car. You didn't know this dude. You were just like, thank you, mountain fairy. I'll take another little hill. And you're just hitting them with them and y'all are fucking partying in the bathroom. And you don't fucking know each other. And then you leave and you're like, I just did some killer blow with that dude in the bathroom. My dude's fucking awesome. He was raking them out, son. And now your dude's in the bathroom like, you want to hit some blow? And I'm like, I want to see you do a whole eight ball first. First show me that you can do it. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this blow? Yeah. You might have already got accustomed to the amount of fentanyl in it, and I might not be. <laughs> you know a lot of people f- that are dealing with that shit, like the overdose shit? Because yeah. I know it's happening a lot. like Everywhere, man. We had a really bad few years in Nashville, especially with old friends from the neighborhood that kind of went from pills to shooting shit and just, you know... That whole culture is just... Out here, they're like... Uh, I watch way too much random shit on YouTube, but there's this guy named Dark White Underbelly. You watch his shit? Uh-uh. So he interviews, like, prostitutes and, like, murderers and all kinds of crazy shit. But, dude, in L.A., like, in fucking... Uh, where's the homeless people at? Skid Row. Yeah. They're all, like, they don't want... I was just going to say, where are they not? No, no, they don't want um, normal drugs. Like, they're, they specifically are smoking fentanyl. Like, wow. they're, like... Proof, they're like fentanyl proof. These yeah. fucking crackheads, man. But I think it's like everything else. Like once your body has felt it and gets it in certain amounts, you can. But I think it's just I don't get it at all. I don't understand. So it's definitely put a damper on my there, cocaine. Days. Some, I've heard I'm in the prime of my career. I should be out here living like fucking Jerry Buss in the seventies, fucking eighties. I should be out here just fucking. Minus all the horse. Me and my wife should just be out here fucking bitches and fucking doing just fucking just. Piles of cocaine every night and drinking scotch for breakfast. And instead, we're having to run around like she's probably got a STD and that cocaine's probably got fentanyl in it. Jesus. Yep. Just wrong, just wrong era. That makes me think about this. Have you ever thought about what the backstage looked like at a concert in the 70s and 80s? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, it was amazing. Dude, there was not a camera in sight. Yeah. It was I just imagine foolproof. topless women running around and passing out heroin kits. Heroin kits, uh, fucking dick pills. Shout out to the dick, <laughs> right? Just shout like, out to the dick pills. yo, here's a blue chew and a fucking shot of heroin, right? And they're just running around. And everybody's just orgy by before the way, shows. Go to bluechew.com, promo code bootleg, and get your first month free. There you go, baby. Go to the bluechew.com and look at see. I'll run your promos for you. you got an <laughs> ad read? I'll do it with you right now. The blue chews work, they do work. I know. Shoals, Shoals convinced me too. Have you tried one? Yeah, I've took a blue chew. You wake up in the morning with that dick hard. The wind blows and it's like, hello. You have that piss boner you got to yeah. get out in the morning. Yeah, and I, I, I just, I need all the help I can get in that department. Hey, man. Hey. As belly goes out, it goes in. It's like a turtle just receding. It's just getting the fuck. It's, a, it's fucking bad, dude. It's disappearing and smelling bad. I'm fucking for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's so bad. It's just... <laughs> It's fucking horrible. Maybe that's why we're not having orgies backstage and doing cocaine, too. A turtle don't come out much. When he does, he smells like a swamp. (laughs) I can't believe my wife loves me. I'm I'm such a disappointment. (laughs) 